Okay, so in collaborative development, this says here, my team has been working very hard on new features for our flag printing program. I wonder how they'll work together. You can download the challenge files here. Okay, so it, and it has a link for the challenge file. I'll paste that in the chat for everybody. And then we will move out of the current directory. And then we'll move into our collaborative development directory. I'll make a new temporary directory in here and then move into it. And then I will download the file. And then we will unzip the file. Okay, so so these are all in the drop-in directory. And in the drop-in directory, there's a flag.py file. Uh, we could try running it with Python. And it just says printing the flag. Okay, so let's take a look at my notes for this particular challenge. Okay, so in this case, uh, we can take a look at the different branches of, uh, of a Git repository by using the command git branch dash a. So this is going to show the different branches of the project. And it says, it says here that there's a main branch, and then there's feature part three, part, feature part two, and feature part one. Okay, so what we can do is we can git log and, and retrieve the, the commits for these particular branches. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to git log, and then it's feature part one, part dash one. So when we git log this, we see add part one and we see a knit flag printer. So what we can do is we can we can get the um, the particular details of a, of a commit by copying the commit number right here. And then we can use the git show command. So it's git show and then the, um, the, the, git, the git code for that commit. And it's going to show us what was modified inside of, that, uh, inside of that commit. So in this case, it says printing the flag, print PicoCTF teamwork, and then end. So what we can tell is uh, from, uh, from the prefix over here, PicoCTF, is, this, is that this is part of a flag and it's probably going to be in three parts because there are three parts in this particular challenge. We can copy this and then we can, uh, we can paste it somewhere for our reference. And then we're going to exit out of here. So it's going to be colon Q to quit out. Um, it's just like how it's done inside of Vim, in fact. Okay, so we need to repeat the process two more times for feature part one and feature part three. So we're gonna git log feature part three, part two rather, and that shows us that uh, the commit we want to investigate is this right here for feature part two. And then we'll get out of here by doing control, sorry, uh, colon Q, and then we're gonna get show. And this is gonna show us the, the commit for feature part two, and that shows this middle part right here of the flag. So we're just gonna copy that. And then we're going to paste it somewhere for our, for our reference. And then get out of here with, with uh, colon Q. And then we're going to finish off by, by taking a look at uh, feature slash part three. And that is, the commit number is this. I'm not too sure what to call it, whether or not it's a commit code or a commit number or commit something else, but uh, that's, that's what it is. I actually don't know too much about working inside of Git, but uh, what, what we hackers do is we, we learn the technology that, uh, that is presented in front of us. Uh, I, 
I assume that uh, people who are developers already know this stuff, but uh, I kind of had to learn it on the fly as I was uh, going through these challenges. So let's show feature part three. It's called the commit hash. Oh, right, that's that's correct. It is um, it is a hexadecimal hash. Uh, thank you very much, G00, uh, GX000. Okay, so we have the, uh, the last part of the flag right here, which is this. And I'm going to copy that and then paste it along with uh, our, other, our other parts. So I'm going to paste the flag into, um, into the chat, but uh, I'm going to warn you that, uh, that the flag is not going to be the same for every user, and every user has a slightly different flag, uh, mostly in the hexadecimal portion at the end of the flag. So this flag isn't necessarily going to work for you. Okay, so now that we have our flag, we can go back to collaborative development and we can paste in the answer and submit it. And in collaborative development, we can click on the um, the rate positive button so we can uh, show some love and that's done. Hey there, hacker frogs. Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel. And it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.